Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an error when you're viewing your event viewer. And it says that the device has a bad block. So if you're coming across this problem and you're not sure of how to actually resolve this disk error you're receiving, I'm going to show you guys a few different commands you can run to hopefully resolve the problem. So you want to just open up the start menu, just talk on the start button one time in order to do that. And you want to type in CMD. Alternatively, you can also just type in command prompt, whichever you're more comfortable with. And the best match, again, should come back with command prompt here. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go left click on yes. Now, I'm going to have a few commands in the description of my video. Feel free to just copy each one. Once we've already run it, you are going to have to restart your computer a couple of times for all these steps. So I'm not going to actually bore you guys through this entire video. Instead, I will have all three commands in the description of my video. You want to run each of them in their entirety. And then once it's done, just follow along with the prompts. You will have to restart your computer once you're done running them. So once you're done copying the first command, for example, out of my description, the check disk forward slash F forward slash R, you can just go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, left click on edit and left click on paste, hit enter on your keyboard, Again, these commands will take some time to run, so only run one at a time. You'll see a little blinking cursor here, and you can see would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts. Just to type the Y key on your keyboard and hit enter, it says this volume will be checked the next time your system restarts. So on Q, you'd restart your computer, and then hopefully that would resolve the problem. If you're still experiencing a problem after you run the first command, move on to the second command, which is just SFC, space forward slash scan now. And then the final command is going to be deployment image service and management command. Again, that will be in the description of my video as well. So just copy that command as well. Top bar of the command prompt window, right click, left click on edit, and then just paste it in. You're welcome to just type it in directly as it appears in my description as well. Whatever you're more comfortable with, is, it's really up to you. Pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.